In this video, I show step by step how to create a work account in Power BI without the work email. Power BI needs a work email if you want to create an account or if you want to download custom visuals. The first step is to make a Microsoft account if you don't have one yet. I created a Gmail account just to show this. I add my data here. I verify the code. And the account is created. Oh. As a next step, you have to create an Azure database account. Let's change it to English. Go to free account and pay as you go. In this case, you only have to pay for the services you are using, but we won't use anything. So it's going to be for free. Click on get started. And I will add the Gmail account I just created. And select my country. I'm currently in Hungary, that's why it shows Hungary all the time. I'm visiting my parents. We have to fill this. Put the code on my phone and verify the code first and you can click next. You have to put your credit card details in it but don't worry because you're not gonna be charged with anything. Click next. Okay, then go to add technical support and select no technical support and click sign up. You can just put anything into this box and click submit. Once you created your account, you have to sign in with it. You can skip this. And when you are signed in, you can see this is with the Gmail account. Search for Azure Active Directory. Change the language to English. Go back to the Azure directory, manage tenants, and create a new tenant. You can put in any name you want. I will just put in my name. select my country and click create a 
Okay, the tenant creation was successful. Let's check it. So we created the organization and now we have to create a user for this. I change the language to English again. And let's go to the Azure directory again. Check the users. After we created the tenant, we have to create a new user. That's gonna be the work email. Create new user, create user, username. It's gonna be Jolt. Here the email address and also the name Jolt. Let's put the password. create okay then put another password and you can see the user is here I'm going to copy the email address and go to the Power BI website. Try free and put this account here. Put the password. We have to put here some information and then we created the account. So there you go. And now you can use this email address also to download custom visuals. There you go. I hope you found this video helpful and see you next time. Bye bye.